Dear friends, today I am going to discuss the application of augmented reality and virtual reality in primary school education. Augmented reality and virtual reality are both emerging technologies with great potential in primary school education, but they serve different purposes and have distinct advantages and disadvantages. Immersiveness VR provides a fully immersive digital environment where students are completely isolated from the real world. This can be highly engaging but also be disorienting for some students. Augmented reality overlays digital content onto the real world, allowing students to interact with both physical and virtual elements simultaneously. It provides a more seamless blend of real and virtual experiences. Engagement VR can create a highly immersive and captivating learning experience, making it well suited for subjects that benefit from immersive simulations or virtual field trips. Augmented reality can enhance engagement by bringing digital content into the real world. It can make abstract concepts more tangible and relatable. Accessibility Virtual reality typically requires specialized hardware such as VR headsets, which can be expensive and may not be suitable for young children. Augmented reality can be more accessible as it often only requires a smartphone or tablet with AR capabilities. This makes it easier for schools to adopt. Safety Virtual reality can be isolating and potentially disorienting which may be lead to safety concerns, especially for young students. AR allows students to remain aware of their physical surroundings, reducing safety concerns. Collaboration Virtual reality experiences are often individual or isolated, making collaborative learning more challenging. Whereas augmented reality can promote collaborative learning as students can interact with the same AR content simultaneously, encouraging teamwork and discussions. Content Availability The library of educational VR content is growing, but it may be still limited compared to AR. AR can leverage existing resources and be more versatile in terms of content creation and integration into the curriculum. Cost VR hardware and software can be expensive, making it significant investment for schools. Augmented reality is often more cost effective, especially when using devices like smartphones or tablets that schools may already have. Curricular fit Virtual reality is particularly well suited for subjects that require immersive experiences like science experiments, history reenactments, or virtual tours. Augmented reality can be integrated into a wider range of subjects, enhancing learning across various disciplines. In conclusion, both AR and VR have their merits in primary school education. The choice between them depends on the specific educational goals available resources, and the age group of the students. Some educators even opt to use a combination of both technologies to create a diverse and engaging learning environment. I hope this information is useful for you if you want to compare the application of AR and VR in primary school education. Thank you very much.